hello traders so welcome back to our youtube channel in this video we are going to trade over one minute time frame again so let's get started so first of all as you can see the trend is clearly downtrend and we are going to be very careful when we go against the trend because trend is our friend so current situation as you can see market is in a mood to go down as i can see the volume here it's quite healthy so let's wait for this candle to finish and it looks like that it is closing as a straw candle so what we will do we'll wait for the market to go up and if we got rejections from the upper end then we are going to place a trade let's wait I am waiting for a rejection here. No rejection till now. I can sense the weakness. No confirmation till now. And you can see this candle closes as a weak one. We can expect a reversal. We just need a confirmation from the upper levels. Okay. I can sense the rejections are going to come very soon. We got the rejection i placed the trade now let me explain you why i took this trade so as you can see market goes up and it reverses from this level it is a sign that market completed its retracement and it is going to continue its run the last candle here was very strong but it reverses because of this recent support level but you can see the strength they are not able to push the market in the upward direction for a very long time and we got rejection again from the same resistance level and that's why i place the trade in the direction of the trend and the result will be out in the next 47 seconds so let's wait i am very sure that we are going to win this trade and here we also got a pattern so we are going to use this as well this is a dozy formation and as i have explained that whenever you see a dozy you always wait for the next candle to break out and if you find a breakout you trade in the direction of that breakout to get a good profitable trade this is not 100% i'm just saying that this is a good tactic to place one trade so currently we are running in loss and in the next 10 seconds the result will be out and it looks like that we are going to lose this trade and yes we have lost this trade so we have lost our first trade now let's wait for this candle to break in either direction then it will confirm us that which way the market wants to go and it looks like that market is breaking in the upward direction but i'll not place my new trade okay the rejections are coming very strongly market will go in the upward direction and the next stop for the market is here so let's wait for this candle to finish we need a clear breakout it's a clear breakout candle but i'll not place my trade i will wait for this candle to finish first and uh, as you can see it closes above so i place the trade instantly in the upward direction this is our strategy whenever i see a breakout from a dozy candlestick pattern i break through so let's wait the result will be out in the next 45 seconds and i am going to wait for the market to go more down because we can expect and can take 
no will not take any trade we'll wait for this candle to finish first and it looks like that we are going to lose this one as well the result will be out in the next 6 seconds and yes we have lost the second trade as well today is not a good day i guess and uh, i'm going to take the last trade of this session because after three losses i'm not going to continue taking trades so the strategy is simple market broke through market needs to go up so we're going to take one more trade this is our recent support we'll wait for the market to hit this level and if we got reversal or rejection from here we are going to place a trade in the upward direction and let's see if we won the trade we are going to continue trading otherwise we'll finish this trading session here only so as you can see market is moving towards the support level if this candle closes just above the level the chances of market reversing will be higher I got a rejection here which is a good thing it is showing that market wants to go up but will not place my trade because I can see that there is an instant can it could be a reversal area also because this is the recent resistance so we'll wait for the market to either break this level or hit this level and if we got rejection we are good to go this is the range this is the resistance and it's the support so let's wait how the market will react right now we are not in a situation to place any trade but we'll have to wait so let's see okay market is moving in the downward direction strongly moving and it is at the support you can see this is a support zone if this candle closes above the level we are going to place a trade otherwise will not going to do anything and it broke the level it's a good candlestick pattern as well it shows the strength and it also shows that market can reverse but the main problem here is this you can see the trend line market can reverse from this trend line so if i place a trade like with rejection the chances of uh, market reversing will be higher and we could lose the last trade of the session which i don't want to so we'll try to be very cautious here let's see how this candle will react because still market is at the support this is the support let me draw the zone so this is the support zone market showing some sign of reversal and it looks like that we can take a reversal trade here so i just need a rejection now okay no i will not place any trade here it's moving very strongly let's wait for this candle to finish let me draw the trend line first market is breaking the trend line here i guess so we can go with the trend because the trend is downtrend and it might be the case that market now will follow its trend. Okay, so I just need a rejection now.
no rejection till now so the market is not moving according to my understanding and that's why we have lost two trades till now and okay we got the rejection i place the trend now let's wait for the result so the reason why i place the trade is very simple this is the trend line it's been broken by the strong candle the trend is downtrend if, and if we go by price action this is the retracement and now the market will continue its trend which is going in the downward direction we got breakout we got rejection and the last candle was also strong and that's why i placed the trend now let's wait this is going to be the last trade if we lose the trade otherwise we will continue to take trades until i think so so currently we are in profit and i guess that we can win this trade because uh, it it looks like that market now will going to go down but we can't expect anything from the market it can reverse at any moment so let's wait and also i i today i increase the amount as well previously i was trading with hundred dollars on one minute time frame now i think that i am ready to increase the amount so that's why i included the ten dollars as well so today we are trading with 110 dollars each trade and uh, we have won this trade so it's a good thing we are going to continue this trading session right now market looks like that we'll wait for this candle because this is, there are so many support level present so i'm not sure if market is going to support these levels or not let's see let me draw a trend line i'm just drawing it to see if market can reach this height because the chances are there and this is the so we have got two two trend lines and it's a clear breakout so i'm just waiting for the market to go up and let me draw the recent sub uh, resistance this is the recent resistance we'll make it white and darker now you can see it clearly you can see the last candle was weak this is a resistance level so what we will do we'll wait for the market to go and hit this level and if we got rejections from the upper level we are going to place a trade in the direction of the trend right now i'm thinking to place trades in the direction of the trend only because we have lost two trades and i don't want to lose one more trade i just want this trading session to be finished in a green so it's a good thing let me draw the next recent support which is here you can see market respected this level so we don't require that one so i'll remove this and i'll make the color white and bold now it's visible so as you can see market is expecting this level we can we have to wait because the next candle i think will go in the upward direction the chances of uh, this candle to be green are like 70 percent to me because the market closes just at the support but as this is against the trend so i'm not going with the trading setup here because i don't want to lose the chances of the breakout is 30 percent only but uh as the trend is downtrend so i am not i don't want to risk the amount here we'll wait for the market to break and we are going to place our trade in the direction of the trend only on this trading session now from um, now onwards so as you can see it's moving in the lower areas which is a good thing the next stop for the market will be here we have got plenty room if this candle closes below the level this will be a clear breakout and we can go for a trade from here and you can see it closes just at the level which is not a good thing we have to wait i will shift my level now
and market reverses so the breakout didn't happen and this level is still intact and is working fine now the problem with uh, trading on a smaller time frame is that every level is important you can see these wick these rejection that came they are coming from a support zone and that's why in uh, if i exclude these levels on a smaller time frame it will be it will make my trading very risky so we have to include that one also and that's why a clear chart is required when you are trading on a smaller time frame on a bigger scale you can manage to neglect these smaller time frame wicks but on a smaller scale you have to include them as well so right now this is the range this is the resistance and it's the support and now we can say that market is actually hit that support level so we have to include that whole area as the zone right now market is heading towards the resistance which is a good thing this uh, if the scandal closes okay it is breaking the level so i guess we have to go with the trend i'm not going to place any trade whatsoever here because i don't want to lose any of the trades so what i will do i'll just draw this next resistance which is present here and we'll remove this because we don't require this one and this one as well so right now the chart is very clear okay one thing we can do is we can go for a trend line and we can go for a trade in the direction of the trend so this is a resistance level and market is this is also a horizontal level of resistance so what we will do we will be going to wait for the market to hit this level and if we got proper opportunity we are going to place the trade in the direction of the trend this is also a resistance you can see market reverses here it respected here here as well here here so all these levels are important but we are going to use the most obvious level which is obviously this level of resistance this level of resistance so you can see this is a weak candle it's a sign of market losing its momentum and it's near to the resistance also so we can say that market now can reverse from this level if market hit this level and we got confirmations right now it reverses without even hitting the resistance trend line and it's moving strongly so we have got another opportunity we'll wait for this candle to finish and if we got rejections from the upper level we are going to place a trade in the downward direction okay that's a strong move and okay so market is moving strongly in the downward direction i'll wait for the market to go up and if we got confirmations we are going to place a trade in the downward direction but no market is not going in the upward direction okay it's now going i just need a rejection here no we didn't get the rejections i have not placed my trade here okay market you can see it reverses from the support level it's a weak candle i guess if market reverses from this level we can have a trading opportunity so i am going to take one more risk here because it's calculated and i just need a rejection now no rejections we'll wait for this candle this is the next strong support level 
and we can expect that market can reverse from this level we'll make it white and bold now let's see actually we have got a very strong level of support which is extreme level so i think we can use this zone to place a trade in the opposite direction i just i'm just waiting for a confirmation here okay i'm waiting for a confirmation we can have a confirmation very soon still waiting yes we got the confirmation i placed the trade now the reason why i placed the trade is because this is a strong level it's an extreme level of support and i can use this level to go against the trend because this level have the potential to reverse a trend and you can see market is at the zone of the extreme level market closes just at the level we can place one more trade i'm going to take another trade and we have put another trade because i got the rejection previously so there is no doubt that next this candle is going to be the green for for sure i i i'm very very sure that this candle is going to close as a green no matter if it closes as a dozy but it is going to close it as a green because the market closes just above the support level which is very strong it's an extreme level and traders are waiting here for the market to take a u turn so let's wait the next 14 13 seconds will going to give us the result and as i am telling you this candle is going to close as the green one i have no doubt in my mind and same will happen we have won two trades by using the extreme level and uh, so we have taken five trades completely and two are in the losses three are in the winning side which is a good thing because i can say now that we are in the green and i will take one more trade and will finish this session because today market is not moving according to my analysis and that's why i don't want to risk it i will wait for the market to hit the extreme level again and if i got the opportunity i'm going to place a trade otherwise we'll finish this session as soon as possible so let's wait i am still hoping that market will go down and we can take a reversal trade from the same level because the chances of market reversing are still there and volume can come from this zone only so let's wait and uh, it's a good candle it is also closing as a green one let's see i'm shifting my trend line now we have this trend line so we can expect that market will retrace up to this level and then it can fall back or it can reverse from these horizontal level as well but the price action will going to happen because this is a strong zone Let's wait. It is going to take some time. Now I'll use this recent resistance. Let's see how this candle will react. If this candle closes above, market will go in the upward direction. 
if it closes below the chances of market reversing will be higher and uh, you can see it is a doji formation both of this candlestick shows the weakness in the market indecision in the market so what we will do i am drawing this level and this level let's see which way the market will break if it breaks in the upward direction we are going to take a trade the last trade of the session in that direction or if it breaks in the lower direction we'll wait for the market to hit this level because we want to take a reversal from this zone and it looks like that market is going to break it from the upper level so we are going to place a trade in the upward direction let's wait for the next 15 seconds this candle is going to finish in the next 10 seconds right from now and you can see it closes as a strong candle now let's wait for the market to go down it is moving downward i just need a rejection now no rejection till now But I have to wait for this candle because market is near to that resistance horizontal levels are present here I'll remove this one and this one trading is a game of patience you have to be very patient I could have uh, taken the trade in the upward direction because it's a dozy and it is the breakout candle but the reason why i didn't place the trade because it was it closes very near to the resistance and both of them are not aligned with each other the resistance shows that market should be reversing and this breakout pattern with a strong candle shows market should be going up and as the trend is downtrend i didn't want to risk it again so right now it's near to the resistance again this is the trend line resistance so let's wait if market gets weak we got rejections from the upper level we are going to place a trade right now this is also a resistance zone and i will include this one as well because this is a whole number which is 1.10200 so whole number have show have shown that they are strong when it comes to support and the resistance when they are present near to the levels and that's why i included that one also market is showing some rejections from the same level and it is also weak so it closes as a weak candle but it's still not a confirmation that market will reverse i'll wait i'll just remove this now it's clear so we will wait for this candle if this candle goes above it closes below the recent resistance you can see this is the recent because market respected this level this is a main resistance but market is respecting this level right now so if this candle closes below the chances of market the next candle reversing will be higher but we will only place trade with rejections so it's moving towards that candle and it closes above so we can't do anything we have to wait again but good thing is that market is at the strong resistance level we'll have to wait now for this candle to finish okay it is showing a rejection sign
there is a fight going on between the buyers and the sellers. And this is the whole uh, zone. This is the range. Let's see. Okay, you can see market closes uh, under the range. Let's wait for this candle. If this candle broke that support level, we are going to go for a short trade here with some confirmations. Otherwise, we will have to wait because in this case, we can't go in the upper direction because we have got resistance level. This is the recent support. So we can't go for this short trade here as well. We have to wait for a breakout in such cases. And that is what I'm doing currently. You can see market reverses from the very level. It looks like that market is trying to break the level, but I'm sure it will it will not going to happen because we have got so many levels present and market will going to respect them. And uh, you can see market is at the trend line resistance now. What I will do? We'll wait for this candle. I just remove remove the horizontal level now it's visible and clear because i like clear chart that's why i don't use indicators let's shift our trend lines so we have got this previous trend line which i changed and that the reason why i'm shifting the trend line is because i can see a horizontal level also here and when they both are together the chances of getting a good trading setups will be higher market reverses from the same level which is a good thing and uh, we have got a recent support as well this is the range now in either direction if there is a breakout which i am sure that it is going to be in the downward direction we are going to place a trade currently i'm just trying to find a good trading opportunity but i can't go against my rules so we have to wait the trade the volume uh, the video is taking longer the session is think uh, is okay it is showing this sign You can see the rejection you have to look very carefully when you are trading over one minute the smaller rejection shows you something they show that there is still strength present on these levels and you should not be going against it as we are trading over a smaller time frame in a matter of second your trade will going to be against you so you have to focus that whenever there is no resistance you can go for a trade if you find something is present that is stopping the market from going in the direction that you want uh, want it to go you should not take the trade right now market is heading towards the resistance i'm going to take a trade in this case because this is a strong level let's wait for this candle if this candle closes below the level market is going to reverse and we are going to have a good trading opportunity the rejections are coming but i will not place many trade because i just want the market to close first the scandal to finish first a rejection you can see it was quite strong that came from the upper levels so it closes as we wanted it to close now let's wait for the rejection and i will place the trade We got the rejection i place the trade now let's wait the reason i place the trade because the last candle closes below the level and we got a rejection as well the trend is downtrend so there was no harm placing a trade we have placed our trade here which is quite uh, risky i can say as uh, 
I wanted to place my trade somewhere around here but we only got rejections here and uh, it is going to be a lost trade here in the next uh, 8 seconds the result will be out and uh, today's session uh, was not worth spending my time and this is it we have lost this trade but the market you can see it's still intact the level is still not broken but i will not place my trade because i today i'm not able to understand how the market is working we have closed in a loss but still the losses are not that high i can bear that much so i will finish this trading session here till then keep trading keep working hard good day